So walk us a little bit through in that, that making that you do that comes from these snatches to the, you know, yesterday we talked about the, the worlds within one of those poems, um, but they start in, in these fragments. So, so what's, what's that movement like from the fragment to the, to the kind of completed formal structured whole? Well, usually the fragment is really um, a distilled moment and it has to do with the music in a phrase mm -hmm. or an image. Usually an image because I think I probably wanted to be a painter yeah. <laughs> early on and the image works for me and in a unique way because the mind functions almost as if a hidden camera is in the psyche. Mm. And what I, what I mean by that is that um, I, I want to be able to almost dance to the images I create. Um, because music, languages are the first music. Mm -hmm. And the body is a great amplifier. I feel um, the poem. And these moments, these fragments, when I actually sit down, those pieces sort of converge and flow together mm -hmm. to make or create a more complete whole reality. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's, all, it's not like painting with numbers or anything <laughs> like that, you know, but <laughs> it is. Uh, the poem is a symbol, it's a made thing, going back to, to Williams. Um, but also going back even further in my own um, reality, because my father was a carpenter, he was a finishing carpenter, and I was really excited early on when, when he would cut a board and it would just slide into place and it made, it was perfect symmetry, it made perfect sense. Even though he had measured it a number of times. So, so that's been um, my process. There are other poems though, that are complete. When I, when I started writing them, especially talking dirty to the gods, and I think it had a lot to do with the form. Mm -hmm. the, the illusion of symmetry, the four quatrains. Um, sometimes I would walk to work and assemble the poem in my head with the line breaks and all of that. And when I got to the office, I would just write it down, <laughs> you know. Um, but uh, I think it had to, something to do with the form. Mm -hmm. The other poems that that are longer, more, um, not fragmented, but let's say this, it's almost like the musician assembling a song. Mm -hmm. I would like to think of it that way. Perhaps it's an illusion on my part, but, <laughs> but, but I would like to think of it that way. Wonderful. Um, in, in some sense, it almost sounds like, too, because uh, as uh, Angela was telling us yesterday, you know, there's 132 of those poems. Did you feel at some point they, they almost were training you to write them? Right, 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 right. We're, we're ready now. Well, yeah. well, initially, I thought it would just be a few, mm -hmm. but uh, I think it has something to do with the structure mm -hmm. and also the, what I had taken in mm -hmm. through the years. So. There's nothing, I feel this way, there isn't anything that's taboo to write about, but one has to have a system of a status, and underneath all of that is a kind of celebration. 